Well, hey, pan peeps, it's Mary from griswoldcookware.com, and I had a lovely meal tonight, and now I have some cast iron pans to clean. The first one is my heavy handled griddle. This is a current day griddle. Um, it's got the egg in the skillet logo, and it's not too dirty at all. So this one I'm just gonna kinda wipe out I don't need any soap with this one. And I'm going to take my paper towel, wipe it down. Looks good as new. And then before I store this pan, I'm going to put a layer of ham on it. I'll do that at the end. I want to get a, give it a second here to dry. Then in this pan, this one is also a modern day lodge pan. This is the Smoky Mountain 2018 Great Smoky Mountain Park and there's a bear in the middle. Very pretty. We were given this by Bob Kellerman of Lodge at our Griswold and Cast Iron Cookware Association in May, and I love it. It's a great workhorse in the kitchen. So for this, I'm going to pull out my chainmail scrubber. In this, I've made a potato gratin. One nice thing about the chainmail scrubbers is you can feel with your hands when you've released the dirty bits that are attached to the iron. This one's not too bad at all. And this is a well-seasoned pan. I've used this pan pretty regularly. I followed the instructions um, a lot when I got it and then just started using it. So I'm going to wipe that one down as well. Next will come one of my very favorite pans and probably the pan I use most often next to my chicken pan. This is my Griswold. You can see it's thinner than the Lodge. It's lighter than the Lodge. It's got a smoother surface than the pebbly surface on the Lodge. But this pan has the, it's a number eight slant logo and it says Erie Pa USA and it has a pattern number right here. This is a heat ring that goes around it. This is a authentic Griswold pan, vintage pan. It's just in beautiful shape. I've used this for many years. So this one is a little more challenging because this has got some crusty stuff. So this is one I might have, you know, let's set for a little bit with some water in it on the stove just to get that stuff loosened up. So this water is warm, not hot. The pan isn't really warm. They do release better when they're a little warm. But again, one of the things I like about this chainmail scrubber is I can feel when I've got the bits off. And you can feel if the surface is smooth. I'm not quite there yet. See what it looks like. Yeah, still got a bit. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of soap, which I know some people choose not to do. I choose to. It's my pan, and it's your pan to do what you like. I do have a blog post about the use of soap, and it's kind of crazy all of the different information you see on the web about. You know, whether you can use soap or whether you can't use soap. And some people get real, like, nasty about it. It's just kind of bizarre. So, yeah, now I'm using soap to kind of get all the stuff that's really on there. It's been pretty good. This pan has a really fine surface, which you'll see. I 
and peel. There we go. That's how I did. Beautiful black pattern up. Oh, it's got a little bit. And part of the problem is if you don't get these food crumbs off, then what's going to happen is it's going to burn onto the pan. Next time you use it, and you're going to have burned on dunk on your pan. And that's why you see some pans that are just kind of a carbon mess. A little bit. Right there. Skillet with Heat Ring Slant Logo EPU. A hand that just about everybody should have in their kitchen. It's a great size. The numbers on the pan don't necessarily correlate to the number in inches. You can see this is number eight, but really it's about ten and a half inches in diameter. And then I will quickly show you how I do my pan. And really, I use whatever cooking spray I have available. I've used coconut oil as well. A little drop will do ya. Protects the surface. Both sides. And then when I store it, I'll take a clean one of these before I put another pan on top of it just to absorb any moisture. As you can see that pan actually left a little moisture. So now for the lodge, same thing. One of the things I love about lodge is they do so many commemorative skillets. They're always coming out with new and different things. And I was just out visiting with my friend Harold Henry, and he's busy collecting every single thing Lodge comes out with because he thinks Lodge is king. And here's the Griswold. See the smooth surface on that compared to the other ones? Just like glass. Just really a beautiful pan. That'd be a nice piece to hand down to your grandchild or your daughter or your son or niece or nephew or neighbor. Anybody would be thrilled to have a skillet that looks as good as this. It's fun to think about where it's been and what it's done and what it's cooked. And I really feel just kind of honored to have it in my kitchen. I hope you have something like this too that you treasure as much as I treasure mine. Thanks very much.